Hello guys, my name is Andrey Vinokurtsev and today we're going to listen about HEVC basic. I'm going to divide the lecture for a few parts because I want to, my aim is to make it 15 minutes no more every time. Now what I'm going to present is just basics of the H265 codec who actually going to it's aiming for the people who already know what is maybe H.264 or some compression standard or some codec standard because I'm not going to down to images or what is actually means the codex and I'm going to compare HVC with H.264 not with VP9 as usual on the internet right now because I want to show what the difference is actually between the previous codec to the new codec and it's like catch up if you already know H.264, or at least MPEG-4 maybe, you basically will understand what's actually going on with H.265. Uh, then le so let's start. Let's start to see what is actually mean. First, uh, the agenda for today is just as overview of the part one. I don't. I'm not sure that I can do it in 15 minutes, then we will split it in many parts. And then at some point I will make HEVC comparison to the H.264 and some enhanced features HEVC. Now I will going to make some presentation of advanced H.264.5 as well, but this will not be this lecture. Then let's, let's start to see some overview of HEVC as well, uh, at all then it's look very complicated to whom is understand h264 it's pretty trivial but for for the h265 is little bit addition by comparing to h264 for example like sro filter which wasn't presented in h264 and and this is mainly the big big change now let's see what else is going on the bitstream structure is little bit change between two diff between two codecs you already know that SPS PPS what is this now uh, in H.265 added header VPS which is going at the start of the stream SPS PPS can come at any place and slice header now represents every, every actually picture is no it's not macro block header the first or data as the first is a slice header and slice data slice header and slice data in every picture and it can be mixture with PPS SPS inside picture partition is uh, different if you remember from F264 it was maximum 16 by 16 but now it can be up to 64 by 64 which is pretty big because you can you can make the structure of 64 and divide it by 2 it be 32 32 and 60 by 16 8 by 8 then the all different blocks available like 2n by 2n n by 2n 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 n and n then actually the mixture of all of this make really complicated and good structure and it's give you a lot of possibility how you actually can spend less bits if you do a bigger block 64 by 64 you're supposed to spend much less bits than you can do it 16 by 16 especially if you take the big picture like 4k picture then as big LCU units and as, as less bits you spend actually to code it now uh, the two more units added called prediction unit and transform unit if you look on the big picture here, it's a big picture LCU which is divided by small CU blocks. And inside, you will see in the next couple of slides, it's as well added prediction unit and transform unit. Then let's see what is actually mean. From the left, from the right side, you can see that uh, LCU divided by CU, which is actually CU is like code unit which is divided by the code block. Each code block is one code block for the Luma and two code block for the Chroma. Both of them together construct the code block. Then code block, actually one of the CU is 
is mostly CB of, of Luma and CB of Chroma. 2 CB of Chroma, of course, if you're doing 4 to 0. For 4 to 2 is a little bit different, but it's like, like you understand the concept. And from, from this side, you can see that if you take the full CTB 64 by 64 we can do 32 by 32 and still we have from the right side 16 by 16, 8 by 8 is up to us to decide, up to codec to decide what, what's the best for the division. It's already algorithm how to divide it but it's actually very, very flexible instead of just saying from the as, as it was in H264 the 16 by 16 constant structure here the structure is very flexible now let's see how it's actually divided if you look for this picture it's and, and how we actually scan this picture if you look for this is pretty complicated picture but it's mostly what you can see in HGVC is mostly look like this because when you assign the the biggest unit 64 by 64 you can sim simplify you can actually simply go to such structure like this then the structure of reading this is A B C D E F like from A to this structure and from the bottom we can see how it's red actually but as a general idea, you understand it. Now, uh, unlike to, to the H264, it was MB header followed by the data. Now the CTU header, CU header, and then CU data. Okay, then in every, the every code block is it's like independent block, which actually proceed of CTU header. Okay, the unit of the unit of prediction block, which wasn't introduced in H two six four, or actually we could say H two six four had prediction blocks, because macro block will be divided by four, and then each one will be called this prediction block. Now it's a two more unit prediction block and transform block, which is absolutely independent but it can be divided by much more than it was divided in H.264 especially when we take the CTU which is 16 by 16 or 64 by 64 then for intra and inter inter pre prediction blocks could be absolutely different first prediction block is like this C CB block for the Luma and for the Chroma both of them construct the prediction unit okay I suppose it clear as it as for the CU unit code unit each CU unit constructed from CB block for the chroma CB block for the luma to CB chrome for the luma for the chroma the same for the prediction unit is prediction block for the chroma plus prediction block for the luma now it's twice luma if it's 4 to 0 now for intra we have less flexibility we can go to the 2 n by 2 n or n by n depend on our biggest size like if you if we take the smallest size it's 8 by 8 we can already divide n by n we maximum can use 2 n by 2 n but for the inter we have more flexibility of the vertical and horizontal okay for the transform block is first to, to say it's not it shouldn't be the same structure as prediction block it could be absolute different structure which mean every every this every this transform block could absolute not be the same size as prediction block at the same time then the clever algorithm will decide which which block is best to, to allocate and the same structure, the transform block and transform unit is divided from the chrome and luma. Uh, yeah, this is exactly what I say, is not unlike to H264, is absolute independent structures. 
uh, it's look now everything for today we not crossed even 15 minutes but I will keep 